everybody's talking about um, who I'm going to sound with, and I'm um, just in a great position right now. And, you know, your, your past few fights, um, you showed uh, the fans that, you know, you're more than a puncher. You're a complete boxer puncher. You showed that you cut the ring off and play shots. Um, now being a free agent, do you say that the options are a little bit more open to fighting uh, different different fights from different promotions? Yeah, for sure. You know, I wanted to, right now, I wanted to step up, you know, and just continue to step up and just create legacy. You know, right now, I did what I had to do as far as a fighter should, you know. I fought the fights I need to fight. I sold out here in Hulu Theater back to back. You know, I'm a, I'm a prize fighter, man. And uh, I just feel like I'm in a position right now to get those bigger fights, you know, get the Canelos, get the Munguias, get those type of fights, you know, where we could generate a lot of money, make history. Now with, now with um, you know, now being at 168, uh, we have Benavidez versus uh, Caleb Plant. And you being a you know, up and coming fighter, you know, a champion. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about that fight with uh, Benavidez and Caleb Plant? Um, I edge for that fight. I edge probably uh, 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 David Benavidez winning. You know, just because how, how he fights. You know, he's he's a beast. You know, what I'm saying I know he's gonna walk forward, hands up tight, let his punches go. He's gonna try to go in there and stop and try to knock uh, Caleb Plant out. But Caleb Plant is also a sharp, smart fighter, so it's gonna be an interesting fight too. But uh, I, I think Dave David's gonna win. No, but um, you just talked about Mungia Mung Mung coming up to like 168, and uh, you know you may win in a fight with him. A uh, fight between you and Munguia, do you feel like you're more of a technician compared to uh, Munguia? Oh, of course. Um, I feel like right now, like, I didn't even get to really show all my skills of who I, I truly am, and I just feel like Munguia is a one-dimensional fighter, you know. He comes forward, he doesn't move his head, he doesn't have great foot movement. And, uh, you know, a fighter like me that could punch, that, that, could, that could move around now, you know, it's just different, man. Like I said, a fight with him, you know, he's my age, you know, he's young. You know, he had to, I believe, I think he had the title at 160. And, uh, 154. At uh, 154, so he comes up to 168. You know, we could definitely make something happen. And we had an iconic fight. Uh, we had one iconic fight that just happened with him. Better be even Anthony Yard. Now, 168 is close to 175. Have you ever gotten offers to go to 175 with your power and skill set? Um, promoters ask me how I'm making 168 because they think I'm, you know, I'm a pretty big 168 pounder. But I make 168 pretty easy. Um, You know, that's... For the future, that'll be interesting. You know, I want to first make my mark on 168, win a title, and then obviously move up. Edgar, man, I don't want to put you on the spot already, but who got the edge, man? Everybody wants you. Yo, who got the edge? <laughs> I got the edge right now. <laughs> um, listen, man, it's, 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 it's a crazy race right now. You know, you got Eddie, great guy. You know, you got Oscar, great guy. You got Floyd, great guy. You got Al, great guy. Like these, and these guys are just putting up amazing numbers, man. And uh, it's getting a little, you know, it's getting a little spicy now, you know. Um, but like I said, you know, I can't really talk too much about it. Um, you know, I'm with my team. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, we're gonna decide with my team on everything and, and keep Conley and, and to see which route we're going. No matter who you choose, ultimately you're gonna end up losing something. I know yeah. I talked to um Eddie. He said that um. Eddie said that he would love to get you a fight like um, John Ryder, a few other guys, and then he also has that Canelo thing he's dangling. Um, PBC, you know, they got all the big guys, yeah, like yeah. Dave Benavidez, Plant, David Morrell, Andrade is over there, um, you got Golden Boy, he's a big time star, you have Munguia over there as well. Is it kind of, is it, is it as simple as where you're just like, whoever has the best names is the one that I want to go over there and take, man? Yeah, of course, you know, it comes down to the numbers, you know, obviously the money. Um, the opponents and the right way to move me, you know, uh, which every every promoter, you know, I, we spoke to, they, they said I was a star, they, you know, they said that I, I, we could do numbers, I'm, they could make me to a super duper star, stardom fighter, and um, yeah, it just goes down to that, man, you know, the numbers, um, promote, uh, promotion, uh, opponents, you know, and just getting me to that big fight, the Canelo fight, you know, and moving me the right way. Were you surprised that you, you ended up splitting with Top Rank, man? They loved you. They were always praising you. You said yeah. you're going to be a big-time star. Made you headline a bunch of fights already. Yeah. So it's like, were you surprised where you guys just couldn't figure it out, man? Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't surprised. You know, it just it happens in boxing. You know, we just had a lot of miscommunication, a lot of disagreements with a lot of things. Like, uh, we wanted to move a certain way that they didn't want me to move. And uh, I felt like the way we wanted to move was going to be better for my career. They felt like... That wasn't the case, so you know it was just a lot of headbutts, and uh, we just decided like, yo, let's just come out to agreement and see, you know, we could just set this out like men, and we did that, you know. And uh, I'll take my hat, I'll take my hat off to Top Rank or whatever they did, you know, with my career. You know, they definitely did their thing, you know. Shout out to ESPN as well, 
And um, yeah, man, now we're here. Is it as simple as they wanted to slow you down a little bit and you wanted to kind of keep progressing and keep on fighting bigger and better names? Yeah, you know, um, I feel like they, you know, just, just want a step, take a step back and I feel like I wanted to take a step forward. You know, I already done headline here in, in the Hulu Theater. We sold out. We made, we made history here in the Hulu Theater back to back. So for me, it's like, if we already at that, at that, at that brink, like why, why backtrack? You know what I'm saying? Why go back down? No, we have to keep moving forward. You know, I'm 25 years old. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta limit. You know what I'm saying? We got a door, a window in this, in the sport of boxing. Now I gotta make the best of it. Gotta ask you, cause I, I don't think you've ever addressed it on camera, anyways. But Jesse Hart, man, he's been talking oh, yeah. a lot of shit yeah, about yeah. you for like a really long time. Yeah. Like, can you kind of address that he's saying that, quote unquote, that's one of the reasons why you didn't sign nah, him? Nah, bro, I, I, and I brought him out to, uh, we got into a little thing on Instagram, cause I was just tired. You know, I'm a dude that's humble, but if you get me out of, you know, what I'm saying some dudes just want to get me out of character. You know, what I'm saying, and I come from the mud, man. I come from the trenches. I'm scared of nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just try to they try to make it seem like I left because of him. Like if he's somebody that's that's a guy that's fit for that, nobody don't want to fight him in the sport of boxing. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it's like stuff. She got to make sense at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? She got to make sense. The money got to make sense. You know? And uh, I just didn't like what they was offering for that fight. And uh, you know, we just passed on it. You know, I wanted to fight a guy, like John Ryder. You know, I want now you see that John Ryder's in line to be fighting Canelo. And May, you know, these are the type of fights that I wanted. You know, I wanted a guy like John Ryder, maybe bring him out here. He wanted to fight me. He said he'll come out here to, to, to the U.S. Or I'll go out there to the U.K. and we can make it happen out there, you know. You cool with going to enemy territory like that? Man? Yeah, I mean, it's cool because then I, you know, I went over there, you know, then I built my U.K. fans over there, you know, I make them fall in love with me. Now I have a bigger fan base, you know, I'm a humble guy, you know what I'm saying? I fight for the people, so... With me doing that, you know, it was whichever way they wanted to go, either them come here, but they wanted to make the fight happen, you know, so that's another reason why I wanted to just keep progressing because guys like that wanted to fight, and I knew I'm, I'm, I'm ready for those type of oppositions. When I spoke to Eddie, he said that you're a really great young fighter right now. He said he doesn't feel like you're quite ready for Canelo right now. He wants to get you a few fights, and then he said by next year, he feels like you'll 100% be ready for Canelo. Is that how you see it? Do you think next year is the year where you're just like, yeah, I'm ready to face arguably the best fighter in the world? Uh, yeah, man, um, you know, that fight's going to happen one way or another, whether you like it or not. People out there, you know, uh, I'm Puerto Rican. I got a crazy fan base. I got an island behind me. He's got Mexico. He's got a, his island behind his country behind him. So, you know, it just makes sense. That fight, out of, to be honest, out of all the fighters out, out there, a fight with me makes the most sense. Why? Because I sell. You know, whether or not I don't have a title, I don't, I don't have a title, but... If you put me next to these type of guys, that's the top oppositions in 168. In numbers and selling out and selling out venues, I, I, I could do that. Got it. No so, problem. last question. So, you feel like a fight between you and Canelo be bigger than him and David Benavidez, him and Bivol Part Two, Better BF, of all of those? You feel of like course. you have a bigger star power? A thousand than percent. Them. And mm. uh, yesterday in the media, Eddie Hearn said that he said definitely without without a doubt. Just the rivalry, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Everybody loves that rivalry, so. It's like I'm a star, man. You know, and I'm, you know, I'm good looking, man. So, <laughs> you are, right, you know. So, <laughs> Appreciate you, that brother. That sells, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> and you. And I can fight too. So. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate. You.